Hey everybody, it's Party Elite. Welcome you back to Planet Zoo in our franchise mode. Let's play. We're gonna dive right back into Elite Zoo South. There is a lot I would like to accomplish today, and the fact that we're kicking it off at night is actually quite good because, um, well, I think it becomes pretty obvious what I want to deal with when I say there's a lot to deal with, and I mentioned that it's nighttime, but before I get into all that, folks, I just want to mention, as always, if you've been enjoying this series and you would like to see it continue, please don't hesitate to keep letting me know by leaving your likes and comments down below. As always, it makes a massive difference in just how I approach content on the channel, what I do more or less of, and how I go about doing it. And again, from time to time, as I did last time, I will throw out a request or a specific question or something that I'm curious about to hear and see what y'all think. And again, last session we talked a little bit about difficulty. Uh, I saw the votes come in. I apologize about the polling issue. Long story, but things never work when I need them to. They'll work around when I need them to, but when I need them to, they'll stop working. Uh, nonetheless, that aside, um, I got a lot of great feedback, got a lot of great ideas. For now, we're going to stick to hard difficulty for just a little bit longer at the very least. Uh, some very strong cases made on either side. Uh, the vote if I recall correctly now, heavily favored no, uh, taking it down to medium difficulty. But I think part of that was also because of some uh, fundamental misunderstandings um, that I created, I would say. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep it at hard for now, uh, but we'll, we'll probably tweak it soon-ish as things get busier and busier because it is going to start to slowly transition from challenge to tedium, uh, which I want to avoid. Um, but apart from that as well, again, you know, if you have any thoughts or anything like that, feel free to share it down below. Uh, it is a great way to just have your voice heard, I guess. Now, looks as though the community challenge was actually a success. Uh, eat your veggies. Congratulations. Thanks to your contribution towards the community challenge, you have finished in the top 75% of players and have earned a bronze award. Click below to claim your reward. Okay, cool. So I was very well pushed down the uh, the order of, uh, of rewards, I suppose. I went from being, what, among the top... It was like among the top uh, three bars, I, I don't know what percentile that falls under, to well below uh, those high numbers. So that's great. That's awesome. I'm glad to have been a part of that. Will give us some awards over here. Okay, we've got ourselves a fancy Indian elephant. We could go back to Elite Zoo North to, uh, to drop them off. Uh, let's actually take a quick peek over here at what else we got. Let's go ahead and... Five rewards claimed. What are we... What? What? what are, no, no. Okay, looks like we're still up over here. So that's great. What something something's not right here. It says five rewards claimed, but nothing else popped up. So I'm a little uncertain as to what's going on. But whatever, we'll cross that bridge when it's necessary, I suppose. Can't say when we get there because we currently are there. But if we look at the rewards over here and we get rid of our filters, we should see Rishi, male Indian elephant with fantastic stats. Uh, how lucky would we have been if it was an African elephant instead, right? But it's okay. We'll, we'll maybe next session or something, we'll go back to Elitsu North to drop Rishi off and then come back to Elitsu South. Would be nice to not just have him waiting in a, uh, um, you know, in a, in a, in a, in a trade center. On which note, I really ought to get into some of these conversations as well soon, right? Um, I think we're more or less going to kick off with a time lapse today. Um, oh, by the way, folks, I just want to mention, um, from time to time, as you've noticed, I, it slips my mind to get the time lapse, uh, I'm stamps in. I apologize for when that happens. It's a it's a new thing that I've only recently started doing. Uh, so from time to time, of course, you know it will slip my mind because the habit hasn't been built yet. Uh, so I just want to just wanted to mention that because uh, I, I know it happened last time until uh, I caught it later. Um, but uh, when that does happen, a uh, a simple reminder goes a lot further than uh, than uh, uh, you know than anything else. I was just want to mention that because it is a new thing still. I am still trying to. Uh, Get, again, get into that habit. So if you if you notice it, feel free to remind me. Feel, feel free to say, "Hey, party, um, you forgot to put timestamps in." Uh, you know, if it's important to you, obviously, because that's also a good gauge of what people want or don't want. Now, I don't need everybody commenting saying, "Hey, party, put in timestamps." <laughs> um, so if you're among the first couple of people watching, or if you're watching before the timestamps get put in, and, and you'd like to see the timestamps, then uh, it'd be uh, it's not it's not a terrible idea. To remind me. Um, I just realized, I was like, well, I don't need, you know, we don't need, like, the first hundred people watching each of you to leave behind a, uh, timestamps missing comment, but <laughs> the, the finding that perfect balance is, uh, is gonna be a challenge. Um, but anyway, um, one more thing I wanted to do, I think I mentioned this during the time-lapse last session, it slipped my mind, 
uh, one of these sponsor boards slip my mind rather and that is the sponsor board for Javon Murphy please feel free to correct me about that one I'm, I'm fairly certain I got that right Javon Murphy coming in to sponsor the koalas as well uh, again I, I had it in my notes until there was a mishap um, and then I saw that one in my uh, long story short I caught this one, but if I've forgotten the others, again, feel free to, uh, to to point them out as always. And I saw some questions asked in the uh, comments of the previous episode as well. If you are interested in sponsoring an animal, um, either at Elitsu South or at Elitsu North, or if you're interested in becoming a staff member, uh, then that is something that is for channel members and patrons. Um, again, I try not to mention that too often, but I saw it asked a lot, which is the only reason I'm mentioning it again. Uh, but channel members you can become a channel member by clicking the join button that is underneath the video and if you want to become a patron instead there is a link to my patreon uh under the eye at the top right corner of the screen and you will also find links to both of those in the uh description down below and i try to do it once a month we get a pass on staff members and a pass on uh animal sponsors as well um honestly i'm i'm, I'm actually really quite happy with uh uh with with these ones um I always, I always like getting, uh, getting the opportunity to get, come up with new ideas for sponsor boards. It's, uh, it's a nice exercise. Uh, but on the topic of, you know, things happening in this part of the zoo and making uh, this area a little bit prettier, this is a terrible segue, by the way, an absolutely horrible segue, uh, which I'm actually going to interrupt with this adjustment for this cooler over here before I forget yet again. Let's go down to 20 degrees. How about 20? 20 is a nice number. What are you at? You're at 25. You're at 25, and you are at fine. 25. Let's let's make you 25 as well then, just for my sanity. It'll also save us some costs. Not that uh, not that we spend money to power these, because they are powered by wind turbine anyway. Uh, but nonetheless, 25 it is consistent across the board. And with that done, uh, I think we're gonna dive into our time lapse. A lot of um, work to do over here still. Hopefully, we'll get a name in as well. Uh, and hopefully we'll get uh, the lighting setup done as well. That's why I'm glad that we're starting in the dark. Lots to accomplish, no time to waste. Folks, it's time lapse time. All right, folks, I am quite pleased with today's time lapse as I accomplish a fair bit um, across a few different topics, I would say. We stay focused on the uh, koala enclosure. Again, I do have a name for it picked out, but I won't be putting it down until uh, we're putting in the final you know, finishing touches on the enclosure it feels like a nice way to cap something off um but yeah th that, that aside uh, we stay focused on the uh the uh koala enclosure today but um we make some good strides in a like i was saying in, in sort of a variety of topics if you will or a variety of uh aspects i suppose the first is actually the lighting now one of the things that i <laughs> mentioned uh before we began this series even like season two I talked about how I wanted to stay on top of lighting as I went along, and I've completely failed at that, uh, but I want to try and course correct later on. However, uh, we are doing a little bit of lighting in this enclosure right now because we loaded in at night. It was sort of perfect. So I thought, let's not let's not like lose this opportunity. Let's spend the time and, uh, and, and do it right now because I had some ideas, and really, I'm very happy with how these little pieces in the center look, especially um, with the light coming in from the three different sides. I'm very pleased with how that looks. I think it looks... It's, it's basically exactly the intensity of lighting that I wanted there. I wanted it to be um, visible, obviously, and, and clearly lit, uh, but not overpowering. And I, and I think I'm really happy with that, is, is the only way I can put it. I'm really happy with how that ended up. And I do wish, unfortunately, I realize now my mistake. I end this time lapse in daytime. I wish I'd stayed in nighttime. It would have been hard to build, though. But uh, next session, or when we next hit nighttime, I will, I will try and remember to show off the... Uh, the lighting because I, I really do uh, quite like how that looks. Now the next order of business over here is me actually trying to keep in mind the integration of lighting as I build it, which is why we're still working on it at uh, you know in the dark over here. But I'm building the uh, rather I'm, I'm developing the continuation of this whole you know garden space. Now I've had as I do I've had many ideas <laughs> for this space. They come and go. My my interest in different approaches you know fluctuates and varies over time as I'm uh, enthralled by a different aesthetic or a different idea or a different approach. Um, but ultimately, today's uh, execution over here, I'm, again, I'm, I'm very pleased with. 
Uh, we do not, and again, I'll be forthright, obviously, uh, we do not complete everything because some of the stuff I wanted to do, we are able to accomplish. Some of the other stuff I realized while building that I might need to do a little bit of, again, course correction, a little bit of adjusting, and all that aside, it is also, as you can see, there's a lot of manual placement. There's a lot of tweaking. Again, these curves and stuff, they take their, uh, you know, <laughs> sweet time and focus to be uh, to be built out. Um, so, you know, everything kind of came together and, and I, I will have to uh, do this in parts, but that's not a surprise. Again, it's such a large area with so many things coming together that uh, I, I guess, you know, that, that, that is to be expected. But with that said, what we do get done today, I'm, I'm just, ah, I, I like it. Uh, you can see over here, so basically we've created little planters that go along the, the pathway on this right side. I didn't want it to go all the way to the entrance. That felt, I don't know, I felt like it'd be nice to change it up a little bit. Uh, so at the end over here, we have this curve. I'm only going to keep half of it. The other half I'm going to shift over to the other side and, and do not a symmetrical thing. This is not going to be a symmetrical space, but there's going to be uh, elements that will repeat between one side and another. And you can see it's still working in the dark over here, just so I have an idea of what the lighting is looking like as I add some more layers to this, uh, you know, multi-layered uh, planter. Um, and again, it all it's all coming together very nicely. I'm very, very happy with the how this space looks at night especially not just because it hides you know my horrendous landscaping work no i'm joking um but but no i think it has it still retains that feel that i wanted that like intimate feeling that i wanted uh and i do try to get the trees lit up as well like that under lighting that i did at elitsu north but a lot more subtly here than i did at elitsu north still trying to keep it feeling like i was saying earlier um uh, intimate and 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 calming rather than vibrant and exciting right like especially for this space especially for this space because of what it's supposed to you know kind of be or or represent you can see me saving the zoo in case the game crashes as i switch to uh to daytime here uh but now that we've done that i'm able to go in and and actually take a look at all the little details and stuff you know i didn't want to in the dark miss out on things like the, the the mulch sticking out or anything like that so the rest of the work has to be done during the day and plus it'll let us appreciate all of the flowers and stuff a bit more as well as i uh you know establish the the actual uh i don't want to call it green space because it's not just green but you know what i mean uh anyway uh, continuing to build these planters up again, so the left side and the right side are going to look a little different, and I'm also contemplating building some steps up to these areas so that the uh, keepers are able to get up here. I'm not sure if they'll need to. Uh, the animals can definitely get up over here. I'm not sure if the keepers will have to come up over here to clean it, probably almost certainly, so we'll have to figure that out. Um, I intend to build some steps later on in this time lapse. You'll see me experiment with them a little bit, but not too happy with how they look, so I'll be, I'll, I'll be figuring it out uh, next session. There was enough to, to think about this session already. And the struggle of selecting the right pieces was its own uh, source of joy, let's say. <laughs> um, but yeah, so building these little like boxes and stuff uh, to put our plants in, it's not something I've done too much of. Like I've, I've thought about building planters, you know, previously in season two over here uh, up by the um, uh, up in Darwin's Den. I started building some planters and we will be, you know, revisiting that, of course, when we go back to doing a beauty pass over there. Uh, so it's again, it's a part of this whole operation, uh, so to speak, uh, that, that I'm undertaking to change my approach to certain things. Uh, I, I really hope you all like the end result over here. And as always, you know, I'm always open to feedback and thoughts and suggestions and opinions, um, ideas, whatever it might be. Uh, but I do hope you all kind of like the, uh, the, the end result we have today. So again, sort of reflecting the same thing that we did on that side over to this side, just um, minor tweaks. It's not sort of it's not perfectly symmetrical. That's not what I'm going for here. In fact, the overall shape is not going to be symmetrical at all, and that is 100% intentional. Because I wanted to feel like a different experience going down one side versus going down another. Um, you know, you go down the left side one time, you go down the right side another time, visit the space twice, donate twice, I don't know. <laughs> uh, think of it however you will. But uh, after all the uh, mulch and planter stuff is done, I was like, rather than explore the rest of the area and experiment with things that I know will take me um, <laughs> forever, why not experiment with the plants over here, which will also likely take me forever, but at least I have a bit of an idea as to how I want these things to be laid out. Um, so I, I focus on, on these planters that we've got done so far rather than, you know, experiment with rock placement and stuff, which will all come later. I make a bit of a mistake over here. Uh, I, I think that the koalas are temperate and grassland friendly. That is not correct. They are temperate and tropical friendly. I had my doubts, which is why exactly why I came through and 
I went in to double check and then I decided to go in and check on the vegetation and get rid of everything they hate, which is quite a bit of it. I'm glad I checked then as opposed to later. So, you know, silver lining thinking. I'm gonna go ahead and still try and match that look a little bit, but of course, you know, actually be uh, biome appropriate. Uh, and, and again, just experimenting here, uh, trying to get layers in, trying to get depth, if you will, uh, trying to use pieces that I've never used before, introducing, you know, injecting some color in here as well. Uh, I, th I think it's, I think, maybe I'm wrong, I think it's some of my best, like, landscaping work. I don't know, y'all tell me. I'm, I'm very happy with it, though. Um, <laughs> uh, it's, it's hard for me to be happy with, uh, with you know, some of my execution sometimes, as those of you that are familiar with this channel and in this series know very well by now, I'm sure. Uh, I'm, I'm always hyper-judgmental about the end result of, of, uh, of my of my labor if you will but uh i'm pretty pleased with how, how this is looking i'm pretty happy with how it's all come together and and uh and just how it feels the the the, the way it makes the space feel and later on we'll also kind of do like a um, low down view of what it's like to actually arrive into the area and take that right turn or that left turn and 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 get that first glimpse at the uh, the planter and i i think it hits the mark i think it hits the mark um, but anyway, uh, that aside, I'm going to actually extend a bit more over here as well because I wanted to make sure I was expressing the idea that I had in mind completely. I really like this kind of multi-stepped approach to the planters. I think it adds, again, it's about those layers, right? It adds another um, step to it. It adds another, yeah, it, it adds another step to it. It, it actually reminds me of it. It might be, I might be incorrect, but maybe maybe some of y'all can uh, can check me. But there is a Starbucks in Tokyo. Uh, and I forget where. Oh, real helpful, real helpful. There's a Starbucks in Tokyo that is on a rooftop, and it has like a stepped planter or something. And oh, it's been it's been years since I've been to Japan. It's the vaguest of memories, but that was sort of the uh, the inspiration for uh, for this. And I couldn't even tell you couldn't even tell you where in in Tokyo it was. Damn. I'll, I'll have to I'll have to uh, check my memory, but uh, but yeah, that that's where the inspiration kind of came from of like this stepped approach to uh, to planters. Obviously, it looks extremely different. The 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 thing I was referencing in my mind was, uh, if I recall correctly, now metallic planters and uh, not as densely packed with uh, with plants either. Again, if memory serves me right, but uh, I don't just don't even know why I'm mentioning it because it's so different from the inspiration. But just thought I'd uh, thought I'd share, I guess. Because, again, I, I've stressed this many times before, I'll stress it again. Uh, looking at real-life examples, looking at references is always so helpful. Um, especially when exploring something that uh, that you haven't done before. I try to do it as much as possible when I'm building a new enclosure that's inspired by elements I don't that I'm not personally familiar with. Or uh, when I'm doing things like this, which is just like, you know what, it's not something I know. It's not something I understand, uh, in, in all honesty. I, I do not comprehend landscaping. Um, it is an art in and of itself. It is a form of design in and of itself. There are people who are experts who have spent years training and becoming professionals, and I can't pretend to be that. Um, uh, you know, I, I, it's just it, it's it's not how it works. Uh, so instead, looking at references to get inspired by the greats and the experts um, is something I'll always uh, promote. Anyway, folks, on that note, this is more or less the end of the time lapse. I do hope you like what we've accomplished today. I'm really excited to share this. I'm excited to hear what y'all think. Uh, this this enclosure is coming together. Uh, very pumped for the rest of it as well. Oh man, I'm yeah, I'm really excited. It, it's coming together exactly as I'd hoped. So as I put these benches down and allow people to rest, I'm gonna put this time lapse rest, folks. Again, as always, let me know down below what you think. Questions, comments, suggestions, thoughts, opinions, all are welcome. But for now, back to regular speed. All right, folks, we are back from the time lapse, and I am pretty pleased with how today's time lapse went. Uh, definitely, most of my ideas that I had are working as intended and as expected, both in terms of lighting as well as in terms of these little like planters and things that I'm building on the sides over here. There are some plans that I'm actually shifting now that I'm actually working in the space. Uh, and so we will, when we next pick up the uh, completion of this region, you're going to see more of this space sort of decorated out. Uh, but hopefully now with some of these planters in place, it kind of contextualizes our sponsor boards in the region as well. You can kind of see how stylistically there will be a, you know, a bit of a bit of a match going on over there. 
Um, but yeah, I, uh, I'm, I'm really quite pleased with how this is uh, working out and the shapes are, are, are forming quite nicely. I'm also very pleased with the uh, density and the variety of vegetation I've got going on. Again, it's stuff that I, I really don't do much of. Uh, so I'm, I'm, it's, it's little baby steps, I suppose, uh, for, for some, but for me, I'm feeling pretty, uh, pretty, pretty happy with how, how this has come together. I mean, just layering the, uh, uh, the foliage and stuff like that, getting the different colors going and, and, and then having the, uh, you know, <laughs> the topmost layer, but even just building this experience as you turn in and integrating the, uh, space or the, um, the, uh, the, the construction here with lighting and whatnot, having these benches over here as well. Like I can see myself sitting down at one of these spots, you know, with a, especially at night with a little bit of lighting going on over here, looking at the animals, should they be, you know, playing around with these little constructs we've built them. So I'm, I'm pretty pleased with how this is uh, kind of come together. I hope you all like it as well. Again, as always, you know, I'm more than happy to uh, to look at people's feedback and, and opinions and thoughts. Uh, but that is enough talk of the, uh, the work we've done today. Definitely some work left to do in this space. I'm personally, I'm not surprised it's taking us a couple of sessions to get this done uh, because again, I'm tackling something I've not quite really tackled before at this scale and at the same time the scale of this space is so grand um, I still have to do the work on you know these little spots like I mentioned before but again I think we'll leave that until later when uh, when we have our dingoes and um, our uh, cassowaries in the places in, in places well cassowary cassowary I think I'm saying that right casso cassowary yeah I wasn't sure if it was cassowary or cassowary so where it is. All right. Uh, actually, it was pointed out to me that it'd be great to have the dingoes as a transitional animal to go from uh, dingoes to uh, the uh, the wild African dogs, and that way we kind of have a similar, like a mirror of what's going on with our tortoises off to the side there. Uh, I quite like that idea. Uh, I think we might do that. Not 100% uh, sure yet. Again, just throwing it out there, but I, I do really like the idea quite a bit. Man, I still, I oh my god, the face, I can't get rid of it now. It's a stuck, I, once you've seen it, it's like the arrow in the FedEx logo. Once you see it, you can't unsee it. God, okay. I'm uh, going to try and unsee it. The, uh, yeah, yeah. So let's let's see how this all looks and works and stuff during the day and during the night as well. Uh, pretty pumped with the progress we made today. Still plenty to, plenty to do. And we got to establish little spots over here. But like I said, sorry. Uh, I have to readjust my own my own memory there, um, but yeah, we'll 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 work on this outer ring as we finish the uh, other animals, and maybe at the end over here we'll have those uh, exhibits and whatnot. But enough of me rambling about that. Let's go ahead and get some management work done. There's a fair bit that I'd like to tackle. I've got some notes taken down as well, and actually, uh, one of the first things I would like to do is do a little bit of naming over here. I did get some more name suggestions. Uh, for one, the information center is going to be called Qualified individual because you know you got qualified individuals giving you all the information you need i must have uh then i have the cosmic cow milkshakes oh i so i got a suggestion for uh for for milkshakes which i quite like i've got a couple of suggestions which i quite like i haven't picked one out yet so i just have to contemplate that a little bit uh, but for the pip shot water i got a couple as well um apparently and feel free to verify this but apparently uh koala comes from Dharug Gula, Dharug Gula, um, and that translates to no water. So Gula apparently means water. So you know the pip shot water is water as opposed to no water. I, there's a there's a there's a fun there's a fun play there. Uh, but yeah, that's an that's an interesting etymology. I have to look more into that and, and understand what's going on there. But uh, yeah, a couple more names put down. We will be again building a construct over here as well. And much like our entrance, which you know is the perpetual project of Elitsu South. Uh, this is also one of those really big projects where it's not just its not just an enclosure. It's an enclosure, it's a park, it's an eating space, it is another eating space, and it's you know two more enclosures encompassed in this entire area. So I don't mind that it's gonna take us a couple of sessions to get it done, uh, you know, completely, well, yeah, completed. Uh, I, think it, I think it'll be worth the, uh, the exploration and uh, and investigation into new ideas and, and concepts and idea and, and uh, um, approaches sorry uh now back over to the other side as well since i'm naming a couple of spots there were a couple of name suggestions for stores up over here no i think it's for stores that don't yet exist that's hilarious um yeah yeah, yeah. so I've, I've got some name suggestions for stores that don't yet exist but they're very uh, uh some of them are, are seychelles themed so they'll be coming in here when the stores get put down but that's uh, not quite what i want to do right now what i want to do right now first of all is 
Again, based on your suggestions, many of you raised some excellent points with regards to Sahele over here, who seems as though, yeah, he does still have a couple of years in him. Salehe, sorry, not Sahele, Salehe. He still has a couple of years in him, I guess. He did just, um, who, who did you just impregnate over here? Uh, who was it? Well, Ndao is a, is a newborn. Do we already have our baby here? Also, I can't help but notice that we don't have, we do not have just one, but two pooping cats right now. Fantastic. Fantastic. Where's the entrance? Here we go. I wanted to see... Was it Malkia or Jumoke? They're all really old. You know what? We need to... We, we need to replace our, um, our male. Yeah, it looks like the newborn has already arrived. Uh, he is a male, but he'll be traded out, I imagine, eventually. His fertility and immunity is not that great. Let's go ahead and maybe not trade out, maybe release into the wild Salehe over here. He is an alpha. He's got some pretty solid genes. Uh, I don't know if we'll be able to trade him. Um, if we release him into the wild, not a lot. He has some time left. I could try to trade him out for like a small fee, like a small bit of uh, uh, conservation credits. The, the, the concern is that I'm going to trade him out. If I don't get an animal in return of decent value, then we might find ourselves at a bit of a roadblock situation soon as we add more coveted animals. Um, but honestly, as, as again, some of you pointed out, if we have a new male over here, the number of cubs we'll get from all of these lionesses um, can completely, you know, counteract the, uh, the, the cost over here. So fair enough. Let's go ahead and send you to the Trade Center, buddy. Um, while that's happening... I also wanted to... Right, the other thing I want to do is uh, something that will be a bit more involved. So let's go ahead and unpause, let the guests start roaming around again. Let's go ahead and take care of the animal situation as well. Um, and again, money. We'll keep an eye on our money situation. Of course, we did just spend a fair sum on lighting and plants and all that kind of stuff. So let's not be uh, too worried. Um, what I'm looking for, animal storage. Let's see if we can't trade Salehe out over here. We, we do have a few that we could trade out over here. Let's see, for example. Oh my god, look at these stats. Do we have another female Jared's tape here? Oh, and right, actually, before I forget, because I know I will, I'm going to move these ATMs out. As some of you pointed out, that might be why the congestion is happening. So let's go ahead and move one over here. Let's go ahead and move... Well, we've already got one over here. We can keep one up there, I guess. We'll see how that affects the flow of traffic. Uh, but yeah, I think, I think that is contributing to the congestion over here as people try to pick up some more money before they move along in the zoo. Um, right, where were we? Animal trading. Go ahead and take a look at our animal storage. Oh, right, that's where we were. <laughs> Sorry. My apologies. We were checking out. If we don't have... We have Nahuatl. Oh, but they're getting old over here. The problem. So I think I'd like to keep my, um... We're about to jump. I think I'd like to keep my uh, high quality female, high quality male. I, I suspect they're not able to breed. It would be inbreeding. If we can get one more baby out of you, that'd be great. Uh, maybe we'll keep uh, Tonatu. Best stats I think we have. And everybody else can go. I'm not going to do a huge trading session today. Um, because I'm not like in the in the headspace for it, I guess I could I, uh, I'd, I'd call it. I'm just looking to because there's, there's again quite a bit of stuff that I want to um, take care of. Go ahead and get rid of this filter, please. Quite a bit of stuff I need to take care of, and we'll do another trading session soon. Uh, what I'm looking for, I'm looking for the Baird's tapir. The for Baird's tapir. Wow, there's no females on the market right now. No male, no no males on the market. No females for conservation credits either. All right, in that case, let's go ahead and just a couple of bears tape here. I wouldn't even know where to begin the pricing. Five hundred or so doesn't seem unreasonable. Um, let's go ahead and get you going first. Let's do a trade. Let's say let's say four twenty. Sure. Atzi will go, and I think Ihi Ihi Kamina will go as well, because again, these stats are hard to beat, right? Immunity is a bit lower on Atsi. Fertility is a bit higher though. And size is a bit higher as well. Hmm, you know what? I think we'll keep Atsi and, and, and let Tanatu and Atsi. Uh, and let Tanatu and 
Hilakamina go? Can I? I can't compare mates with others within the... Oh, I can. Yes, that would be inbreeding. Would be inbreeding. Uh, what about Atsi and you? Inbreeding, yeah, okay. I, I was fairly certain, but I wanted to be 100% certain before I made the, you know, pulled the trigger as it were. Um, come on now. Batamuk's about to mature. There's another one we can uh, trade out. But Atsi gets to stay. Changed my mind a couple times here, I'm sorry. It's funny, both of the keeps are going, but the one that I didn't label is, is staying. Alright, to not to you. Um, go ahead with the trade. I say 500 is a more than fair price for these stats. And Ihikamina. Go ahead and trade you as well. For 500. Let's see, I can't rename over here. I have to go to the zoo. I have to go to animals. I have to go, go by name. A... T Z I Atsi. Go ahead and label you to keep. Good stuff. Alright. That's that. Looks like we've already traded one out, so you know, that's that's positive. Uh but the reason we were originally there was for our line. I mean again, even if it's just you know, two hundred or, or whatever, um conservation credits, it's something. West African lion. Go ahead and get you... Jabulani can't come in either, if I'm not mistaken. He's also uh, going to be a source of inbreeding with most of them. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, that's enough of them to for me to ignore Jabulani as an option. Uh, so, Salehe. Man, look at those stats, though. Go ahead for the trade. I'm going to go ahead and say 1,500. These are fantastic stats. Like, these are fantastic stats. So, I, I... Even with the age, again, he's still... He's still ticking, right? He's still making babies. He still has value. Try for that 1500. God, I... It's... It... Hurts. <laughs> I have a hard time letting go. Um, let's go ahead and get our West African Lion over here. Uh, where are we? West African Lion, there you are. Ooh, no, we need a male. We need a male. Hassan. Ah, that low immunity. If it wasn't for that low immunity, I'd go with Hassan. I had a... Uh, I don't know. I had an old friend named Hassan back in the day. Memories. Um, Aboyami. Pretty solid over here. Yumbo. Also pretty solid. A little bit cheaper as well. Yeah, if it wasn't for that immunity. Uh, what about Gahiji? Now, Gahiji's uh, bronze only, so that's not ideal. Hmm. Whoa. For a thousand. For a difference in a thousand. Oh, these guys are going away. Bayami. Oh, it stats. Age is 4.5. You know what? Tumbo's a bit younger. Ah, oh, it's a big drop, though. A thousand, a thousand, a thousand. Sorry, not a thousand. Yeah, a thousand. You know what, let's go with Abayami. Significantly higher appeal, let's go with Abayami. Adopt you. Go ahead and make sure you are properly checked up first over to the quarantine. And we'll get you over. Now we had a Jaguar that was about to mature, and we have some saltwater crocs about to mature as well. You, my good friend, I believe we have to... ...send you away, don't we? Oh wow, look at these stats. Those are some great stats. Um, but yes, to the Trade Center, because we have too many uh, Jaguars in here otherwise. Back here. Ooh, you as well, my friend. I actually don't have my pair labeled here. But I believe you need to stay. And you need to go. We have, we have fantastic Jaguars. Uh, to the Trade Center with you. They are, they are literally, there's like no other way to put it. They are fantastic. Um, let's see though. So Metzel and Oltecatl are making babies, hopefully. Compare mates just to make sure. Yes, and they're fine. And oh my god, those those results that the margin on these results, right? Amazing. All right, good stuff. Good stuff. That should bring us a lot of conservation credits as uh, you know as as time goes on. 
more vet research completion happening. Excellent. Koalas. Gonna get some more high quality foods and stuff like that eventually. Not gonna do it just quite yet. Oh, look at this. Folks are coming through. Now, one thing I need to keep an eye on is if staff are able to get up over here. What I'm probably going to do is build in some steps. And that's what I'm planning, uh, sort of like in this side over here, building some steps and building some steps up over here as well. Uh, and then, uh, and that should be pretty good. And th this actually, this should help the appeal of the space. And <laughs> I love that Thunderbox costs nothing. Oh my god, it brings me so much joy to know exactly what Thunderbox is. That term, I can't even... Um, but yeah, this should make guests happier. I mean, these guys don't look very happy, but this should make guests happier as the, um, you know, it, it makes the space, uh, better, just in general, more and more aesthetically pleasing. So hopefully it elicits some more donations and things like that as well. It's only February, so, you know, it's a little early to take a look around. Uh, what's wrong with you? Okay, you're fine, you're fine. Now, people are saying they've got a good deal on the ticket. Let me just check over here if that's consistent. The ticket price is good. The ticket price is fair. Price is fair. Okay. It seems like more think it's fair than good. So we'll we'll stick to that. With that for now. And what have we got going on? The animal's not ready yet. We're okay. Okay. So the other thing I need to concern myself with is actually the work zones. We've uh I say we. I've held back on this for uh long enough. I need to fix it now. I need to fix it now. And actually, you know what? I have a couple of people who could be researching. Uh, Michelle, let's get you working on the uh, Colombian white-faced capuchin. And let's go ahead and get uh, Rita here working on what? Let's say the Baird's tape here. Uh, because again, this helps with education rates and, or education levels and things like that. Uh, and, and that, I mean, maybe not the yellow anaconda. Let's instead get Becky Jones working on... Pause for a second here. The... Red kangaroo. Guests will hopefully be going in that general direction. Now, the crocs, one of our crocs has become an adult and that's causing issues over here. Haddeck and Elok, Ramanna, my good friend. What are your stats like? Yeah, not bad actually. Not bad. Not bad. I should. I need to get into the habit of marking animals more often. The trade center with you. Uh, just because it'll, it'll make my life so much easier and less anxiety ridden when the time comes to actually do those trades. There's bad habits. Bad habits on my part. Quarantine pass, ready to leave. Alright, good stuff. Let's go ahead and move you in right away, buddy. Well, he's down to 140. Or, sorry, down to 130 from 140. 120 now. What, what's going on here? What's going on here? Finances. Yikes. Year after year, we're seeing some significant losses. Again, unhappy guests don't donate as often. So the hope is that this uh, work zone fix will... Let's go ahead and pause for a second. The work zone fix should allow staff to uh, move more fluidly and more easily, and that should in turn allow us to, um, uh, uh, you know, keep things clean for longer, respond to uh, animal needs and stuff more often, things like that. So uh, Australia, we've got... Center, we've got South America. South America needs to be split. We need a new work zone. This new work zone will be... You. I'm gonna add... Hang on a second. We've got these guys over here. Yep, add you. A little bit of overlap. And then these guys are the staff rooms and stuff. And we need to add more... Um, staff rooms and things as well so that guests... Or not guests, but... Uh, uh, these, uh, these workers are able to, you know, rest more often, more easily. They're not having to travel for, you know, half a mile before they can, uh, rest up. Uh, I need to fix that as well over in Australia. So, this is good. A fair bit of overlap over here. A little bit of overlap, not a fair bit. Uh, and this is going to be... Africa... West. This is where the sun sets, yeah. Africa West. Alright, we're good. Gonna add some staff to it, fear not. First, I want to edit Australia. Go ahead and add you and you. Make sure this train ride or this um, monorail ride is still in it as well. That's Australia added. Can't help but feel as though you know, we need. I'm trying to find the best way to integrate staff facilities here. 
I wonder if like a thing down over here is not a bad idea. Like a little uh little space down over here. Yeah, I think we'll do that. I think we'll do that. I think that's necessary. Uh okay. But first, before I forget, we gotta redistribute some of our staff. Right now, if we take a look at who we could change some of these as well. Recovering energy faster, um, making guests happy. You know, let's go with a staff PR course. It costs us a bit more money. It's a risk that we're taking, honestly. Um, but I think it, I think it'll be worth it. All right, but sorry, I was looking for our staff by work zone. Uh, that's not going to work. Let's go staff by type, and some of the South American ones. Let's see you. Let's go ahead and assign you to Africa West. You as well. Let's assign you to Africa West. Uh, let's go ahead and get you leveling up a little bit. I'm trying to manage costs and stuff as well. Three in South America. Okay, Africa West. Okay. Center, let's not forget, includes the lions for now. Now over here, the keepers are really overworked, aren't they, in South America? My god. I mean, some of them are overworked, and some of them aren't doing anything, it seems like. <laughs> well, let's make some adjustments here. I feel bad taking people away from, uh, from South America, just because they are... Well, actually, some of these guys are in need of leveling up. Maybe that'll just do the trick there before we hire more people, right? Before we hire more people, we should consider leveling people up. And let's go ahead and move these low-level individuals over to Africa West, because that way... Just get two. We don't have that many animals there. Two should do the trick. Uh, and we'll see if that balances out South America and Africa West. Whereas mechanics, no work zone is fine. I suppose putting one of you in Africa West is not a bad idea. It's a small area right now. And security guards, no work zone typically across the board I think is safe to do. Vendors, no work zone is safe to do. Some of them have assignments. And vets, of course, no, no work zones. I don't know if that'll do the trick. I can hope, hopefully it'll spread out some of the uh, responsibilities a bit better. And let's go ahead and, yes, establish another staff area over here, I think. Hopefully that'll do the trick. And they'll be able to take care of the kangaroos as well as the koalas, as well as the cassowaries, well, as well, everything from, from over here, I hope. Staff path only. The big question is, will I be able to attach? Yes, I will. Be great. The other big question is, where do I want to attach it from? Always a hard choice, because we have to keep it far enough away from the guests, obviously. But also not so far away from, um, you know, from the, the enclosures. Up the length over here. And can we? No, over here. A bit more for the angle snap. Ah, yeah, we can't go down over there. Fair enough. Not surprised. Should have known. There is one of those things about the pathing that, like, I get that I'm not supposed to be able to adjust things. I, well, actually, I don't know why I can't adjust things after uh, barriers have been placed down in the area. Come on now. Popping train will not help. Okay. All right, we're okay. We're okay. Uh, nudge you guys over. That will hopefully do the trick. Ooh, no, still nothing. Okay, interesting. Interesting, not what I would have expected. Only this would do the trick. As far back as possible. Still nothing, alright. Sort to flatten terrain. Still nothing. Ooh, okay. Interesting, interesting. I like that. Uh, I like not knowing what's going on. It's uh, one of my favorite things, actually. Not know what's going on. And now I can't even place it up over here. Wonderful. Undo these moves. Nope. There we go. Undo that. Oh, this is a problem. Not one that I anticipated having. Okay, let's see. This, obviously, I can place down over here. Why? Why? Why do you refuse to connect? Something and stuff isn't going to help. I mean, none, none, none of these checkboxes are going to help. 
Where is the first spot I can actually put a path down? Nowhere, it seems. They just accepted it where the game was letting me put it down at first. At least it was letting me put it down there. Um, okay, fair enough. Good. No, not fair enough. We, we need to make this work. Need to make this work. What about you over here? Right a little bit. Go all the way back there. Will that make the difference I need to make? Yes, it seems to. Alright, cool. So. We need to make sure it goes down over here, right? Okay. Put you down over here. Knew we'd solve it. Had to go really far back, I guess. Down like this. And let's try... Get this to attach... Nicely. I think that's all right. We do something a bit nicer. Oh yes, like like that. Like that. Something about that kind of shape that I enjoy. <laughs> but it also continues our like kind of circular stuff. And not perfectly, but you know, perfectly enough, I think. The other option, of course, is to go a little bit further, like a bit more rounded like this. I don't know if that's working. It's just because that the end connection over there. You know, I think uh, I think we'll do this. Oh, there we go. I'm happy with that. And then the staff stuff can be. I think it should be on the outside. I feel we're putting it on the inside will upset guests. Let's see if we go to. Uh, let's put down a keeper hut first. A large keeper hut's not a bad idea. And if we take a look at um, negative impact, oh, it might actually be okay. Oh no, there it is. Yeah, actually, you know what? We might be fine. The ride, though, the ride is going to be a problem. Let's see what we can do. We will be decorating the space as well, so the radius will be reduced, but... Keeper hut over here. Well, let's put the keeper hut in the middle, approximately. The animals on both sides, right? And stop it from affecting... All right, do this. Pop you down over here. They're so expensive. They're so expensive. And the staff room over here as well. Got a large one in. Exit the group. Down over here, hopefully. Yeah. I'm tempted to put down like a vet uh, research thing as well. Actually, no, let's put this down over here. Line it up nicely. Okay, down like that first. Um, get rid of the path. Then we can hopefully. Oh, Fine. Fine. I want it to line up perfectly, but not the end of the world. All right, so that's staff room, keeper hut. That's good. They can rest here. They can pick up food and stuff here. A research clinic. You know, honestly, I think I'm going to wait a little bit. Money's still looking kind of concerning. I think I'm going to wait a little bit. Uh, but this should allow our staff to wait. It should allow them to get food and everything. Yeah. Oh, wait, sorry. I mean relax. Um, and it is smack dab in between these two enclosures. Should help keep this area, at present at least, taken care of. Um, and of course, we will want to reduce their uh, negative impact radius, especially up over here. Uh, for that, we'll build some decorative elements. But first of all, I want to make sure I don't forget to edit the work zone. Australia, we're going to go ahead and add you two. And let's go ahead and add you and you as well. Thank you very much. Done over here. Go ahead and hit play again. we got to make money, right? And let's go ahead and just put a couple trees or something down over here for now. I mean, the other option, of course, is to build... Uh... Actually, you know what? I don't know about the Australia pack. Um... Oh, right. I was like, I couldn't remember for the life of me what the uh, the walls and stuff looked like. I quite like how the, the look of these, actually. I think I've mentioned as much before. Where is the... Again, this might be temporary. It might be, like, semi-permanent. Um, 
shop cover for these. There we go. Half ah, deserve a view. I think. <laughs> Do that, and let's go ahead and get the wall back in over here. Two. And the door piece. Yeah. Good. Next up, over here. Pop you over here. Where's the door? There you are. Pop you over there. And let's get our wall sections up over here. Get. Her. Done. Come on. Oh, there we go. I think this will do the trick. At least temporarily. Staff already coming here. Obviously, it's so much more convenient to come here than to some of those other distant places we've set up. Now let's just see really quickly. Negative impact. Still a little bit from this guy. Still a little bit. Alright, not to be worried. Not to be concerned. Where is the floor piece? There it is. What is going on? Come on now. There we go. If that does anything. I, I doubt that's the maximum reduction we're, we're going to get. Back up. There it is. All healed up. Again, it's making guests unhappy as we speak, right? What are we looking at here? Uh, 9%, 11%. Still not nearly as reduced as it can be. Go ahead and get some of these trees up in here. I like how the ghost gum trees look. Yep, good stuff. I wanted to make sure that it wasn't blocking the uh, the track, of course. Another one of you down over here. Amarin trees are quite nice as well. The eucalyptus trees are iconic, I would say. Yeah, we'll, we'll doll this up in more organized ways. For now, it is purely functional. There we go. Yes, no longer unhappy. Okay. Hopefully. We haven't put ourselves into a problematic situation. It's actually really wild. Our, our financial situation is pretty insane. Um, like, I don't think I've ever seen that significant a drop outside of polar bears. Polar bear mafia was uh, a powerful force of nature that came through at Elitsu North. Uh, hopefully we're not having a similar situation over here. 110k. Lions are all up in here now. We can actually go ahead and remove contraceptives for the lionesses. Um, species. West African lion. Yeah, there we go. Done, done, done. We should be good across the board here. Hopefully some new cubs will come through. Nothing like a couple of cubs to elicit some more donations, right? Right? These guys are making money. It's June, they've already made about 4k in that one donation bin. Okay, good, good, good. Good stuff. This area is still somewhat congested. Go ahead and move this ATM. Why are you running? I lost my balloon protesters. What are they protesting now? Fleeing? Why? See, that's not good. That, that costs us a lot of money in refunds and stuff. Don't clip. <laughs> Don't clip. They have protesters. Protesters, where are you? Don't see any how. Oh. Lots of very unhappy people over here. And there we go. What are you upset about these guys? Why are, why are these guys upset? Face. Oh, come on! The game keeps doing this. Like, this was fine last session. I don't even want to know how much that's cost me. Will that do the trick for you? Gotta wait for this to refresh. I don't think it's done so yet. Not yet. Alright. So pull up a little bit over here. There we go. Honestly. Just, um... 
Yeah, these guys are fine. That that's really quite a bummer. I'm not gonna lie. It's it's just it was working fine last session and the session before that as well. They're right over here. I don't know how many guests have been made upset because of uh, these guys. Oh, good stuff. Mating going on right away. Excellent. Yeah, we're gonna get lots of lots of cubs over here. I suspect offspring due soon. Good, good, good. I do wonder if we aren't able to increase our ticket prices a little bit. We did see a couple of people coming through happy about the prices. Some are saying it's fair still. Quite a few are saying it's fair still. I'm going to be reasonable. It's good the zoo isn't overcrowded. Listen, you. <laughs> Is that a slight? Oh. Research as well on this thing. You're okay. Lots of guests over here waiting to get on the ride. you're headed to? Going home. Why are you taking the ride if you're going home? All, a lot of these guys going home. Price was good value. Mm. That facilities are well hidden, you don't say. Alright, money's looking alright again. I say that, but then we look at this screen. Now I got 3,000 in refunds. Refunds have been a consistent issue, but not, not the only issue that'll solve the problem. Just two years ago would have solved the problem. There's a bit of construction going on and stuff as well, obviously, so there, there is that. Honestly, marketing, I feel like maybe, can we, oh, 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 let's not miss this. Oh my god, are you, so cute. Even when they clip through each other like that, I'm so glad to have caught this. Hey, buddy. Hello. Say goodbye. Are we about to have our baby over here? I don't want to miss this. Go backflip. No, no backflips. All right, fair enough. Look at how entertained you are. Yeah, look at that. Look how exciting this is. Donate. <laughs> oh no, the koala's in the tree. All right, there we go. I was like, don't have, don't have the baby in the tree. I want to see this. All right. Yeah, just chilling over here. Oh, we can confirm that the koalas have access to this space. Beautiful. Wonderful. Look, ha have your baby. I'm missing out on a lot of notifications here, I'm sure. Don't just climb another You're just going to climb another tree, aren't you? Oh my god. Up we go. <laughs> Alright. I need to make sure we don't miss anything important, right? Did you just... Okay, that that's pretty fantastic. That's that's. I mean, the guests are enjoying it. That was hilarious. I that that was hilarious. Offspring imminent. Come on, have that baby. More vet research complete. Koalas, I assume. Yep, good stuff. Money's back up to 116. Guests are still not super happy. What did I miss? No, I didn't. Offspring still imminent. So cute. Um, I want to make sure we don't we don't miss the baby. That, that would that would be unfortunate. Well, we'll have more, sure, but you know, don't want to miss the first one. Uh, Money's coming back down again. Why? I um. Situation here. I might need some more vendors as well. It was pointed out by uh, a couple of you that uh, having more vendors would help. Uh, might help a lot because a lot of the time some of the stores are closed um, and uh, and that just means missed sales opportunities right let's see I'm going to need refreshment soon it's so hot but even over here we've got all the coolers good donation nice oh wow these guys are making money I thought I'd see a koala right in front of me it's incredible yes it is three treasured looking at the red kangaroo so much never gonna clean your eyeballs that's maybe not a good idea buddy Place is almost great. Listen, you can leave. Oh, their happiness just dropped. There's food and stuff in the area. Food and stuff in the area. They should be able to fulfill all of these needs at once. I fear like there's litter somewhere or something. Come on now, have your baby. <laughs> is this what koalas are like? They just kind of like, like, nah. I'm just hanging out. Oh. 
terrible hanging off a tree pun, did it? Go. Go. I knew I had to let Penelope down off the tree. I didn't think I'd let her down with a bad pun, though. Huh? God. Alright. Into the soil. I should maybe, you know, fix that, but I'll do that after this happens. Come on. Come on. I just oh, about to make. Right, I was I was worried that was a inbreeding notification. Don't just climb another tree. It's all you're gonna do, isn't it? It's all you're gonna do, isn't it? Or even worse, have a baby amidst all this shrubbery and stuff. That would that would show me for trying to you know do a little bit of uh, landscaping and whatnot. <laughs> really punish me. Where are you headed? Oh, going right past all these climbing things. Are you going to rest, maybe, in your hard shelter to have the baby there? Or are you coming here for food, maybe? Oh, oh, nope. Oh, this I also want to watch. Because this is a custom animation for the, uh, for the feeding, I imagine. Yeah, you can see how, like... Yeah. You, you can see how, like, perfectly like, pathed it is, how the, the paws and stuff were lined up near perfectly. That's how you can tell it's a, like, a scripted animation. Up over here, grabbing a bite. Okay. Alright. 117k. Money's kind of fluctuating in this area. At least it's not dropped below 100. That was my concern for this session, was that it would drop below 100. Listen, you're cute. Your baby's gonna be cuter. Can we get to it? I just want this baby to happen. I imagine she does as well. Can't imagine having a baby that just doesn't want to come out. I, I literally don't know what to expect, by the way. I have no idea what to expect, but I've been told it's adorable. I've been told I should keep an eye out for it. Oh. Oh. Did you see that? Come on. Come on. Come on. Or was that just a pregnancy, uh... Like, you know how the, uh, the kangaroos have that one animation? Oh, 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 here we go. This is it. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god, yes. Oh my god, yes, this is amazing. Oh, I'm so pleased. Oh, I'm so pleased. Oh. <laughs> and then what, you just put the baby down? That's amazing. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, you're so cute. The little hug was... Oh my god, I'm, that's my day made. That's my day made. And folks, that's the episode made as well. I hope it made your day, but this is where we're going to call it a session. I was just waiting. I didn't want to leave on like a cliffhanger or something and be like, Oh, we'll just watch the baby next time. No, that'd be, that'd be such a... Oh, I, I couldn't I couldn't do that to all y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed the uh the oh, that was so cute the way it stuck its head out. Oh my god. I think it's gonna be it's gonna be like the kangaroos. I'm gonna have to watch every koala birth, aren't I? I have to watch every koala birth. Uh we gotta put down another research center, fair enough. I've got so many vets who are oh no, you know what actually I just realized. Bad party. Bad party. Well let's go ahead and pull um who someone needs to stop doing research. Let's get Lucy Meg off the Alp. Llamas, I almost call them alpacas, off the llamas there. Um, and let's get, uh, 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 let's get Rita, no, let's get Michelle off the, uh, the, 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 the capuchin, because, uh, we need some vets actually taking care of the animals in case they fall ill or anything like that. That would not be ideal. Low welfare over here among the yellow anaconda. Let's go ahead and just deal with this right here, right now, before it's a, um, bigger concern next session or anything like that go to the trade center excellent done money is looking all right again 121k so that makes me feel pretty good folks hope you enjoyed this session if you did you know what to do let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below as always it makes a massive difference in how i approach content on the channel what i do more or less of and how i go about doing it looking forward to next session as well we'll hopefully make a fair bit of progress and i'm really hoping 
do well. I didn't get to spend as much time investigating the uh, guest happiness situation, uh, partly because of a little bit of animal management, uh, just like trades and stuff. Um, but I think we should be able to solve that. I do want to point out, by the way, in terms of littering, which many of you have noticed is a major problem from time to time, littering will still happen in medium difficulty. The only difference that'll make is that, uh, I mean, I don't know if littering causes people to um, do refunds. Now, I'm a little annoyed at the protester thing, but it's fine. Hopefully that's, uh, you know, a road bump that we won't see again, but it's good for us to keep in mind and maybe check that spot out in the future if we see happiness stay low for too long. Uh, but yes, we'll, we'll, we'll tackle this. Um, hopefully soon, while also, of course, having another time lapse in the next session. I've got some plans. I'm gonna share them next time, folks. Like I said before, if you enjoyed, leave a like, leave a comment. As always, a massive thanks goes out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting the channel on a monthly basis. Y'all keep us alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time. Cheers.